All right, so here we have a 2000 Ram 2500 and we purchased some EMP devices. The first thing that we have is from EMP Shield. We have that installed, it's pretty easy. It doesn't require any nuts or bolts on the backside. Just some Velcro padding right here. Then you got three wires. The green wire goes to ground, which is right here. And then you have a red wire right here with the fuse. And that red wire with the fuse right here goes to your positive on the battery. This red wire here with the fuse goes to the positive on the battery, and then the black wire goes to ground on the battery. And then down inside here, it's kind of hard to see, but we also have some of these other little EMP devices. These kind of look like a cigarette lighter little device. We have those, it's kind of hard to see, my phone's blurry. But it kind of looks like a cigarette lighter device that plugs in and this actually goes to the, uh, the black wire on the one side goes to the negative. Then the other side of that, which is a red wire, goes to the positive side of the battery. We also have some of these farad caps that go on the positive and negative big wires to the battery and since this is a dual battery setup I have to have one on each which brings it to a total of four of those and then maybe you can see that that one down there a little better if I could move it around that was kind of hard to see but anyway the red wire comes out of here goes to the positive side of the battery then the black wire comes up and goes to the negative side so these little devices down here are about 60 dollars a piece from the emp website so between those two here it's like 120 bucks and then these little ferret caps are i think 60 dollars a piece so it's like 240 dollars if you have a dual battery setup like i do Otherwise, it's only $120 for just one battery. And then this EMP from EMP Shield, this device, I think is like $499. Uh, you guys can get them on sale from different merchants. I went directly to the buyer or to the seller uh, because I didn't trust buying something that might be fake or, uh, or not legit and work the way it should and i don't even know if this is going to work the way it should but uh i guess we'll find out when we have an emp um but anyway i just figured uh i'd go ahead and be better safe than sorry and uh go ahead and get that installed in my ram pickup oh there is one more device that i bought for this and you'll have to excuse my truck it's a little messy inside but there is one more piece that they recommend and this is the piece that plugs into the cigarette lighter. And that's kind of like how the piece looks outside, except for it doesn't have the cigarette lighter plug on the end. It's got a red wire that comes out one side and a black wire that comes out the other. And that's supposed to just stay in there. So I figured let's try to protect it as much as we can all the way around, right? More money than I wanted to spend, but you know, it is a nice truck and i wanted to make sure she's protected if shit hits the fan <laughs>